This video brought to you by jadedpainting.com. If you need your miniatures painted to a tabletop standard, check out jadedpainting.com. Hey everyone, hope your weeks are going well. My name is Jay and I am the owner of a company called Jaded Painting and today I'll just be showing you a yet another finished commission that I just finished up in the studio. Uh, if you want to check out our website, it's www.letterjdidpainting.com. Right here is the, the link title. And uh, yeah, check us out. We love to paint everything. We'll paint, you know, Warhammer 40K, Fantasy, War Machine, Hordes, Infinity, anything you want us to paint up. We'd love to paint up for you. So just check us out. And uh, yeah, today I'm going to be showing you a finished Chaos Space Marine Rhino that we just finished up. Um, but it's an ordinary rhino. They, the client purchased the uh, resin kits from Forge World for the Tzinch um, Chaos Space Marines. So all the doors are the Tzinch ones. They look really nice and uh, the, it turned out really cool. Sometimes when you get a commission, clients are very vague with what they want or in general, you know, I just want this themed rhino, for example. Uh, <coughs> sorry. And sometimes uh, clients are very specific and this client was very specific with what he wanted, which is awesome. I actually prefer it when the customers are that specific because then we know exactly what the client wants and it's very easy for us to meet the client um, with exactly what he wants, you know? If you know what he wants, you can easily give it to him, which was terrific. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really cool. And without further ado, here is the model. So here we have the painted up Tzinch themed Chaos Space Marine Rhino. And I'll begin with uh, just, yeah, the customer, this entire scheme is the customer's idea. He was very specific and I really love the fact that he, uh, he gave us such a specific uh, note to do for this. So the customer wanted a uh, green gems all around the rhino as well as the lights are green and they're uh, just a gradient of greens. Uh, turquoise, a gradient of turquoise is for all the Zinch flames symbols on the model. And for the eye, he wanted a deep red to orange gradient, which I use an airbrush for, complete with a black pupil. And all, of course, because it's it's Thousand Suns themed, all of the trim is gold. And with skulls and front chains. And I don't know if you can see this, but the treads are, are gonna be weathered. I use an airbrush to weather the treads. And for the gunner, I just use the same scheme as I did on the tank itself. So it is symbol is yellow and an alternating blue and yellow for the gunner. And yeah, it just turned out really cool as a standard uh, Thousand Sun. He does come off. And both these are varnished using a satin varnish. So they turned out really cool. But yeah, really cool stuff. So let's take them off for just a moment to show you. So here are the treads. And as you can see there, there's a bit of weathering on them, which I just used an airbrush to do a quick weathering on them, as well as on the, the bottom here, because that's where the mud would be thrown on the rhino. Put him right back on there. Awesome stuff. And let's see here. Just brighten it up a little bit. There we go. So, as I said, here is the finished rhino. So the front, with it's all lit up and bright. And here's the side. Once again, the client wanted a consistent color scheme, so um, the same green gems on the sides, gold symbols, as well as the same turquoise gradient within the flames. It looks really cool. It's a really like bright flame color. I think it turned out really awesome in the client. Yeah, it was a really cool idea. And same on the chimneys, I added a bunch of you know dirt around the chimneys, just some weathering effect on it as well. Here is the back. And pretty standard, just the gold symbol and the weathering on the tracks once again. And here's the other side of the Rhino. So again, it's all the, these are the custom doors from Forge World. They're not the standard Space Marine, or sorry, Chaos Space Marine doors. And on this one, once again, the dragon, hit yellow, consistent with the symbol on his on the gunner's left shoulder pad and the green gem with the turquoise flame on the trim. Uh, for this model I definitely appreciated it 
the client gave it to me and it was already primed in Cantor Blue, and, or sorry, base coat in Cantor Blue. So what I did was then I went over it again and did some pre-shading and then went back over with some Cantor Blue just to provide a lot of depth of color in all the crevices and the recesses. And yeah, it adds a lot of three-dimensional color to it. But yeah, it turned out really cool. I'm really happy of the gunner especially. He just turned out really nicely and I think it was a, a very awesome paint job. Uh, sorry, no pun intended and no copyright infringement on the other person obviously. But it turned out really cool and I'm very happy with it. This it was a little bit of work, but uh, a little bit more work than I intended, but it turned out really cool and I think all the work justified it and I think this client is going to really love it. And that's what matters in the end, not how much time it took me, it's uh, how much my clients love the models because I think he's really going to love this Chaos Space Marine Rhino. It just turned out so cool and yeah, I can't wait for him to see it. So uh, yeah, that's everything. I think it turned out pretty cool. And that concludes my showcase of this recently painted miniature of the Chaos Space Marine Rhino. I really hope you like it. And please check out our website. Once again, it is www.jdidpainting.com. And if you want to email us for a quote, it is you can email us directly at service at jdidpainting.com or you can go onto our website and we have a contact form on our website. And uh, yeah, that's it. So please like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. All this really does help a lot. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.